What's the crack, lads? Welcome into your Thursday roundup. So what's new? What is new with V3.6.2? Well, we've got Blitz Curler Del Piero. We've got the J-League Epics as well. Totti and Baggio are also there. We did predict that those would come. We tried to give you a few hints and tips in the videos, but we were right with these ones. We also have the this 29th anniversary campaign underway. We're going to get into everything here. We've got special login presents, special login bonuses, campaign objectives, and of course there is going to be Showtime Arsenal players as well, right? So let's get cracking with this. We will be streaming a little bit later, hopefully as well, but we're just going to cover everything on this, right? So this is the first thing up. You've got Showtime Arsenal players. You've got Havertz here as well as a Showtime. And listen, I still feel like that they're kind of like slightly behind with what they're trying to you know release because these are still club competitions i didn't think they'd be finished club competitions or sorry i thought they would be finished the club competitions by now but yeah it's interesting it's interesting ben white is also there as well very good card we'll get in and have a look at him as well i will do player reviews for all of these new cards everything i'll do cover every card every training guide but i think it's all going to be about these blitz curler del piero and then his teammates Totti and Baggio with this. I definitely feel that Baggio is going to be an interesting one. Totti's going to be extremely good as well. But Del Piero with Blitz Curler, I think is probably going to be one of the most broken cards in the game. Because you can visibly see the animation. You know, other animations like Game Change and Pass and stuff like that. You know, there's a trailer kind of uh, clip there as well from the Blitz Curler. This is going to be really, really difficult to stop. And I do feel like that it gives people a chance that haven't got Blitz Curler before to now be able to get a Blitz Curler with also a Legend. I think that this is where they're going to go with it. They're going to bring different Legends with different Blitz Curlers. Like if you have, you know, Romario, but you can get Romario with, you know, like phenomenal finishing. People will want that. So that's where I think that they'll reinvent it a little bit, you know, for people to actually keep getting other variant versions of the same type of card. But we'll get into all of that in a little bit later on. Baggio, again, this is a very good version of Baggio. We'll see how he actually trains up and racks up. We will be doing a full training guide on him as well. But yeah, this is pretty much going to be what it's like for, I would say, eFootball 2024 all the way to eFootball 2025. They've started to make a few changes, which we will cover as well, but I'm seeing everything fresh here. So yeah, it is going to be interesting to see how they release these cards, but you can see there that they are going for a seven-day period all the way up to the 18th of July. And then there's obviously the J-League players as well. Um, I'm not throwing any disrespect to them, but I want to get into the to, to the rest of this content, right? So we get our login bonus. We're also going to have the King of the Continent Volume 2 that is still ongoing. The eFootball Festival is going to be running again from the 11th to the 18th. We get two free spins at the eFootball Festival Italy bonus players that you see here. You also get an Arsenal Standard eFootball Festival inbox. 50,000 apology from the, from the admin as well. And it says that there's a couple of different things. So we're going to cover everything here. First off, we are going to cover the player contract situation, right? So a lot of people have been asking me about the contracts. A lot of people have been asking, obviously, everybody, you know, Kanami, everybody. And they have basically said, we're going to get rid of it. The contract situation is not going to be an issue anymore. And it says, we have decided to remove player contract duration with the update V4.0, scheduled for release in autumn 2024. Now, here again, we don't have a specific date, but I would be shocked if eFootball 2025 doesn't come out before August. I would be shocked. I mean, maybe la first week in September, maybe, but they'll definitely try and get out, I would say, between the 25th of August or 23rd of August and like the 3rd of September. Now, so from V4.0 on, you will be able to use all the players you own without having to worry about their contract situation or the contact, contract duration, whether they have a contract or not. As well, with V4.0, you will be able to use players whose contracts have already expired. So if any of the players that you have, you don't need to give them a contract now because with V4.0, you will just be able to use them without having a contract. In line with getting rid of the durations of the contracts, the following changes will be applied with the update V4.0. Unused contract renewals for 60 days and 10 days will be retrieved. Compensatory items will be given based on the total number of days of the retrieved contract renewals that you have. So if you've got one 60-day contract left, when V4.0 gets rid of the contract uh, like mechanic in the game, you will get compensated for that. But if you've got 100 60-day contracts, you'll get more compensation. That's probably what they're going to do. I talked about that in the last stream as well. If you guys were paying attention, we discussed all of that. Note that any contract renewal, 60 days and 10 days you use before the update, will not be sub subject to retrieval or compensation. It, with regard to the contract renewal that you receive for releasing a player, a different item will be given from V4.0 and on. That different item, in my opinion, 
will be skill trainer. That's kind of what I would have heard and stuff like that. But anyway, we'll get into that a little bit more detail. Essentially, all you need to know there to keep it as simple as possible is the contracts are going to be gone, right? There's also a fix for a following issue as a token of apology, uh, 50,000 GP. They just said that the game was getting heavy. So the longer you played, the more and more kind of clunky the game was getting and the more laggy the game was getting and stuff like that. It also says changes to the co-op PVE event United Team. Following changes will be made to United Team event, uh, which is fewer points required to earn items and changes to the multiplier start time. So they are listening to feedback there because a lot of the bonus multipliers were at different times, right? Now, we have a lot to get into, lads. There's a lot of stuff here. We're going to go through everything. And as I said, we will take a look at everything else later on, a little bit later on. We'll do all the training guys and stuff like that, right? So the first thing up is there are a lot of new... Uh, dream team events that you can see here obviously some are ending in three days like the team play fun but the rest from the six day ones and especially this one the flexible showdown this is going to be giving you a special bonus for your anniversary rewards right so when you enter this in here you can select your match difficulty level and you will be able to unlock whatever player that you have that you want here so you can choose what player that you want to unlock I presume that you can double dip and do it, um, but I, I, I don't know. I would say that if you want, whatever player that you want, you will be able to get. We'll need to test that out and see. If you do unlock this on beginner, then you'll be able to get Ben White on amateur and regular. But I'd say once you have the reward complete, you will be able to double dip on these. It makes sense. You won't get the main reward, but you will get the level reward. So say, for example, we choose, let me see Ben White, right? Let me say that we choose Ben White and complete this on amateur, okay? We just need to get and complete this and have all this done, right? Once you get this, it's going to be a case of getting the rewards that you see there. So the main reward is 290. You can only earn level rewards for the match you completed initially. So again, that kind of flies in the face of what I was saying there. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what people, you know, what people think of this mechanic. But again, it's something that you're getting guaranteed. It's three players that you can sign one player. Whichever one that you want to go for, go for, right? Would I like to be able to sign them all? Yes, of course. But it's a, it's a step, and I did that in a feature that I wanted to feature um, for eFootball 2025. Maybe they're testing some things out now as well and getting a bit of feedback. But anyway, we will continue on with this. It's all these events. You have your free player of the week events and all this sort of stuff as well. The eFootball League is still ongoing. The match pass has been replenished as well. So if you go over to match pass here, there's new objectives, there's new match pass. These are the two players, Zelinski, and of course you have Morata as the match pass. There's a brand new match pass here. That's going to bring us all the way up to the 8th of the 8th, which is the 8th of August. Again, that timeline kind of sinks in with what we're thinking. The objectives here as well are going to be all new. So all of these objectives are going to be just logging into the game. All of these win players using one player, win matches using one player from Arsenal, score using Arsenal players, keep clean sheets. I do like this sort of stuff, honestly. It's small, it's basic. But it is nice to have something to play for. Weekly events, are, our weekly objectives are back as well. And King of the Continent is still ongoing. Now, what a few people have been asking me a lot about is the eFootball point store, right? So finally, with the players, they have actually added three players to the eFootball point store. Um, I would say buy all three of these. Lads. I have 60,000 here. I have 60,000 uh, points here. Modric, Trippier, and Olise are all there. I would say get them all. They're free players. You can just get them all and release them if you want a GP or whatever. Or, of course, they're, they're fairly okay versions of the cards for free, right? The rest of the stuff in the shop here is not... There's nothing there. And they will be removing all the contracts and stuff from this um, as well. You can see here that they have no contracts left. It's just training programs. So that's everything. But at least there are three new players in the shop. We cover that all the time as well. In terms of um, your actual players, right? So a lot of people also ask every week about the reset. The reset is still 600,000 GP for most cards. It's not a free player reset yet, but they probably will do one before launch. Now on to the meat and veg of this, boys, right? So we've covered pretty much everything here. They talk about ongoing issues. They talk about different things. We've covered pretty much everything here. All they've said about V3.2 is that they are going to be, you know, fixing general issues, eliminating bugs, the game may feel heavier after long periods of use. That has been now, um, you know, fixed or eradicated. And global improvements to certain boosters, Im implement adjustments to certain boosters. As previously used, boosters may have been less effective depending on game plan. So there was an issue probably with, with, with boosters, right? But it's all about the cards, right? I won't make this video too long because it could be 20 minutes, but it's all about the cards. So the Spanish League are still ongoing, but we do have this national team from July the 11th, and we have the player of the, we player of the season Spanish League. So we do have, as well as that, 100 cap elites, king of the continent, nominating contract cards. 
and the J League here, right? So these are nice cards as you can see here. Lukaku is in there, Kimmich is in there. But I would say that the Spanish League pack and the Player of the Week selection here. There's some nice ones in there. We knew that uh, Emi Martinez was going, going to be there. Saka's obviously be there. Uh, Van de Ven is there. Diaz is there. Nuno Mendes. Guler is there. All of these are pretty much out of the out of the tournament now, apart from Dani Olmo, Marino, and of course Saka. But it's still nice to have some nice cards there for free, if you do get them for free. Spanish League players, you can clear this pack. There's a full list of them here. We will do training guides and builds and reviews and recommendations for all of these here. It's an okay pack. For the player of the season there and then of course we do have the blitz curler del piero with the boosters so del piero is going to be the main man i think down as a creative playmaker he's got marseille turn chop turn blitz curler long range shooting first time uh, shot doesn't have one touch pass but i would definitely play him as an ss if i was playing him i wouldn't play him amf his passing isn't good enough but yeah we're going to train him up and we'll show you a build for him the rest of the players that you see here as well totti and baggio look very interesting and they're in a pack here with all of these players, which are Italian players. So this is a, an Italian-specific epic box with Showtime skill Blitz Carter. So they're kind of mixing things. You also have the J-League players, Endo and Nakata. And, of course, you have the Spanish League still ongoing. But these are interesting. We will do a video on this with the nominating contract. I definitely think Kimmich and Xhaka are going to be two good players. Pepe is there as well. This is actually a pretty decent, man. I have got two five-star contracts i'll definitely get kimmich and jacka probably or else pepe i have the other version of pepe but it is nice it's nice that you're getting all these cards for free you can get three in the e-football point shop you could probably get two or three there and of course you're going to have your free spins so that's pretty much everything boys we will be back in a little bit let me know in the comments below what you want to see first player of the week or team of the season or builds and training guide for del piero baggio and toddy let me know also with the the, the daily game here I know you guys will ask me if you're at work or whatever and you're not able to check yourselves. I think I've covered pretty much everything there. Um, but with the penalty shootout now at the moment, stick it in, stick it in, Castolo. With this penalty shootout here, um, we now have cleared that one. Obviously, we get our, we get our uh, 10,000 XP. But what they are going to do, I think, with this is they're probably going to change the game or else kind of um, get rid of this altogether, in my opinion. Because with the laps that they have here now, a lot of people are up towards, you know, 36, 37 laps. So they'll only get another week out of it. But they will definitely let you get all of these players. So we have only one player left in this, which is Jack Wilshire. Do not worry. They will keep this ongoing, I would say, until eFootball 2025. So that's everything. That's all the gameplay stuff. We'll have to test out the gameplay, obviously, a bit later on. But that's everything, man. Let me know what you guys think. Just keeping you up to date as usual. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Let me know what next video you want up first. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. Peace.